Hi there, it's Josh Campbell with OSU Extension. And I would like to tell you about a common problem that is experienced in home vegetable gardens. We get a lot of calls about this during the, the summer uh, vegetable growing season. The problem has to do with cucurbit plants, specifically the fruit starting to grow and then uh, wilting or shriveling and, and dying. The most common reason that this happens is that this female flower, which was producing this squash fruit, did not get properly pollinated. Cucurbit plants are what we call monoecious plants. That means they have both male and female flowers on the same plant. And so what that means for the plant is that pollen has to be transferred from male flowers to female flowers in order for the female flower to be pollinated and be able to successfully produce a fruit. All cucurbits have both male flowers, which just produce a, a long stem with a flower on the end. And then they also have female flowers, which actually, when pollinated, will produce the fruit. And this is a little tiny uh, patty pan squash here. When squash and zucchini aren't properly pollinated, uh, people will think that they have a disease because they'll see things like this with their, their squash and zucchini plants. Zucchini plants a lot of times will have an uneven uh, filling out of color where the, the blossom end is soft or turns, stays yellow and does not uh, develop green. And in squash plants a lot of times you'll see it just kind of get shrivelly at the blossom end. Squash and zucchini plants are very dependent upon pollinators to transfer pollen from male flowers to female flowers. If you don't have uh, pollinators on your property and in your garden, if you don't have enough uh, haven to attract them, uh, if you use insecticides indiscriminately that, that can be harmful or dangerous to uh, the, the beneficial pollinators that you would want in your vegetable garden, all of these are things that could lead to poor pollination of your cucurbit plants. Insect pollination is ideal, so anything you can do to create habitat and an environment that attracts pollinators will be the best case scenario. But if you can't get pollinators to your vegetable garden, you can actually hand pollinate squash flowers by transferring pollen from male to female flowers. Proper pollination is really important for producing a healthy squash or zucchini plant. And so if you're experiencing troubles associated with poor pollination in your vegetable garden, consider ways that you can increase uh, pollinator activity. These pollinating insects are a free workforce and will help you have beautiful squash and zucchini in your garden.